July is upon us and so is this vlog. We have a lot of stuff for you, so let's go. On June 24th, artists 2501 and Jim Mata embarked on a fantastic journey through the U.S. Glimpse of America is an encounter with cities, people, neighborhoods, experiences, and their opportunity to create and document. Their first stops were Miami and Gainesville. They then headed to Richmond, Washington, Baltimore, Newark, Jersey City, where they hooked up with friends and artists like Lunar New Year and Hello Pig, and in New York, we met with them and popped by to visit Faith's mural. Follow them to Detroit and the cities ahead, right here on our special coverage of Glimpse of America, and follow their steps. And also, do not miss their weekly videos sent straight from the road. Summer in New York City is awesome because we get to connect with artists passing through the city to create beauties like the ones Faith is doing. For the past two weeks, she's been leaving behind a trail of swans that simply take our breath away. We caught up with her on the fourth wall she whipped up in the Lower East Side for the Lisa project. She is now underway with her fifth and last wall in the city. Keep a close look at her through her Instagram and stay tuned for a sweet chat we'll be having with her soon. Pow Wow has expanded its horizons from Hawaii to Long Beach. And the festival that took place on the shores of Cali just wrapped up last week. Here is a visual feast of the top five favorite murals for us in LBC. Benji Escobar's pastel mural. Aron de la Cruz space in downtown Long Beach. Hot Tea's installation entitled Promiscuous at the Long Beach Museum of Art. Brendan Monroe's envelope piece at the Long Beach Museum of Art. Cryptic's fantastic facade entitled Albany Temple. And don't forget to check out the gallery shows happening worldwide. And this week on Food Tips by... Hey, hello! We get a very special homemade pot roast recipe by our friend and artist Over Under. Are you ready? All right, get a crock pot ASAP. Start early in the morning, chop an onion, throw in a few cloves of garlic, add eight or so carrots and the seasoning of your choice. Next, add chicken stock, a large tenderloin pork, and fill it up and close it up. And let it cook on high for a few hours. Open it up in the afternoon and add a cup of barley, then let it cook again for another hour or until the barley gets swollen with all the juice. And presto, pot roast delight. Enjoy with a cold one. And that's all for us, folks. Thank you so much for tuning back in. Do not forget to follow us on our social media for our daily endeavors and the artists, of course. And don't forget to catch each other next week. All right, adios, Donald Trump.